Hello, in this video, I'll show you how you can perform a chi-square test of independence. Usually, it's used to determine if there is a significant relationship between two nominal or categorical variables. As I previously mentioned in the uploaded tutorial about chi-square, the chi-square test is useful to look at differences between categorical variables, and here we're having two variables. So in order to do, to do so, the data can be displayed in a contingency table, where each row represents a category for one variable, and each column a category for the other variable. So in order to illustrate it with an example, we're having here uh, the row data. We're having a question regarding gender, and we're having another question that if you love chocolate or not. So we want to see if chocolate preference differs between males and females. So in order to start, first we have to set the level of significance. We're having it alpha, 0 0.05, and we're having the null and alternative hypothesis. So the null hypothesis states that there is no relationship between the two uh, variables, the gender and the preference for chocolate. And the alternative hypothesis states that there is a kind of relationship. Okay, so in order to start to prepare the contingency table, first we have to go and to insert what we call a pivot table. So what we have to do, we have to select first all the data that we're having, the raw data that we're having. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm selecting all the data that I'm having for the two variables. The second step I have to do, I have to choose where I want to have my table, okay? So I will choose to have it here. And I click on OK. So as you can see here to the right, I'm having the gender, and I'm having you love chocolate, so the chocolate preference. So I put, let's say in columns, the gender, I drag it here. In uh, rows, you love chocolate, and in values here, I can put whether gender or chocolate, it will have the same result. Okay, so count of uh, the value. So you can see here that I'm having a table that it's being created. These numbers we're having here, they are the observed variables, the observed values. Okay, we have to compare, as you know, in the chi-square, the observed to the expected. So I have to calculate the expected. Okay, so the expected, and I have to put the same in the rows, no, and yes, and in the columns, female, okay, and male. And here we're having the grand total. So in order to calculate the expected, it's what we call the joint probability. It means it's equal to the rows total here times the columns total divided by the grand total. It means here the expected count for this cell for the females that they don't that they does they don't love chocolate it's 23.83. Let's do it for females that they love chocolate. Okay, so it's we're having yes. It means it's the total of the row times the total of the column divided by the grand total. The same will be done for males. It's the total rows times total column divided by the grand total. And the same here, total row times total column divided by the grand total. So here one condition whenever you are having the chi-square test is to have it greater than five. So as you can see, the expected count in each cell, it's greater than five. So we're having this condition satisfied. 
Now, in order to calculate the degrees of freedom, okay, so the degrees of freedom, it's k minus 1 times k minus 1. It means k, the number of categories. So here in gender, we're having two categories, female or male. So it's two. So it's equal to, okay, 2 minus 1 times. Also, in uh, the chocolate preference, we're having two categories, whether they love the chocolate or not. So it's also 2 times minus 1. So it's 1 my, uh, times 1. So the degrees of freedom is 1. Like this, with the degrees of freedom and alpha, we can determine the critical value on the chi-square table, which is 3.84. Now, in order to get the p-value, based on it, we will uh, decide whether there is a relationship or not. Okay, so we put equal chi-square test. Okay, here, chi-square dot test. And what we are doing, we are comparing the actual with the expected. As you can see here, the p-value that we got from this test, it's 0 0.004. So it's too small and it's less than alpha. So this is why it will fall somewhere in the rejection zone. So we have to reject the null hypothesis, which means that there is a relationship between the gender and the chocolate preference. However, you have to be careful when interpreting the test result. Especially, we have to avoid inferring that a causal relationship exists between classifications. It means it doesn't uh, mean that the gender or being a female will cause uh, to love chocolate. So this causal relationship, we have to be careful uh, of interpreting it. So you're having uh, other uh, tests that you can do in order to see whether there is a causal relationship or not. So here, in order to better see uh, uh, the results, okay, we can move here to value field settings to see the percentages. Okay. Okay, the percentage of grand total. As you can see, okay, the females, the percentage, it's much higher that they uh, love chocolate. It's much higher than the percentage of males that uh, they love chocolate. And this is the percentage, it's from the grand total. So like this, we can, the relationship that exists, it's that females, they have a tendency to love more chocolate. But this relationship, I have to go and to investigate why it exists. It's not causal again. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for future videos.